everybody deserves like whatever best education they could get. And it's just crazy how like, you know, past high school, like education is kind of elitist. In appreciation of my fighting for Cal U, they want to forgive my student loans. Oh my God, oh my God, dude, that's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, no, they're gonna wipe out my student debt completely. All I have to do is stop fighting for them to divest in private prisons and sign an NDA, so. Oh. <laughs> I come from a family that just doesn't have a lot of money. Um, and I went anyway because I was like, this is mine. This is the only time I can get this and I'm gonna go and I'll figure it out later. <laughs> and I just remember breaking down in my dorm hallway, being like, I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to the next term. And all these kids came out and tried to figure out how I could stay because I deserve to stay. And I never will forget that moment. And that's what puts a lot of things <sighs> into reality for me when it comes to college, because the money, it sucks. And it's something that we all think about. It's all in the back of our head, whether we're in college, out of college, going to college. But for me, I just, I wouldn't let it stop anyone. It's a risk that's like, I think is super brave on a lot of like, on a lot of you, like, you're like, man, you know, I'm just gonna do it because it's like, I deserve this. You could see the worth and you're just like, what differentiates you from the next kid that comes from a better family? Like, you're the same kid, do you know what I mean? Like, the same working brain, it's like, why can't, why do you have to like pick from all the other options when they didn't have to, you know? You gotta like close that gap. And I think it's super brave when like people do that. Kind of going off of that, I just want to like note one thing. I think there should never be an opportunity for like a student to not get an education because they never have enough money. I think the biggest thing with education is progressing a student, making them realize like their true potential. That's one thing I have such an issue with in the U.S. is the fact that we stigmatize being poor and then we also do not give them the means or the fund to get out of poverty. So I think it's an extremely unfair system if students who do not have the means are docked for the lack that they have. I agree. They've always said like college in the U.S. is a business before it is an educational system. It's never been just for the education to educate people to actually do right by people. It's always been a business. So I've always been taught that you get out of the world what you put in. So taking that risk and doing what's right by you and by other people it will come back for you, you know? It will um, eventually work out in a way that will will make your risk taking worth it. Paying for school is hard. Like the first thing people say is, oh, look for scholarships. But in reality, like you never know where people come from. And honestly, trying to get a scholarship, it seems like you have to do 101 things in order to be qualified to get interviewed to get that scholarship. And when people say just get a scholarship, like the way that even is designed is to me is completely crazy. Like, ah, you can't afford to go to school, then you have to like be the best at everything. You know, you're a kid. You're like, you're you're getting out of your teen. Like, what do you expect from me? They expect like, and that's what also, it's disadvantages because it's like, you have to work a hundred times harder to get the same exact thing that this other person's getting. How, like, how is that fair? Like they expect lower income communities and like people to just like, just be better at everything else. And like, that's how you'll get in for free. It's like, how is that fair? But you should be able to like see something and someone and be like, all right, how do we build this person? Like you can't, not everybody could be a God, bro. It's just not like, it's not fair. My younger sister is in this chat room right now, Sayera, and she works so hard to the point where like, she was like not well mentally or physically like to get to college and so like obviously she worked that hard to be able to you know get those scholarships and get those grants and get that tuition paid for but at the same time it's like you're asking these people you're asking these students these you know almost 18 18 year old adults to be in positions where it's like they're working harder than people work at nine to five jobs that was my situation. You get the loans and it pays for the, all, all the all the years, and then you don't have to start paying until you're out of school for a certain amount of time, whatever. And then, and I got out of school, and I was like, "Frick, 
I, I ended up, I was working at, I was working at a, at a gym, $9 an hour, 40 plus hours a week. And I wasn't paying for my loans and my rent and my credit cards. It's a crazy concept. I actually, like I said, I didn't go to college. So I was very like, as I'm reading the scripts and like learning and so I'm like, what, this is how it is? Like, wow, like sucks. I see how it sucks. It's very stressful. It can be depressing at times, but you gotta have faith in, in those moments and uh, know that God got you and, and you got you too, you know what I'm saying?